Is that better? Sorry, I thought I closed the window, but I must have only muted it. Is that better? <laughs> sorry, I forgot to close YouTube. Okay. <laughs> no, no, that's my bad. I'm sorry. Um... Yes, so part four and part five were a little bit shitty in regards to the quality of content that I like to produce for you guys. Um, I have fixed that problem by straight swapping. I convinced my dad to um, straight swap me his uh, Omen 17 for my little IDPad 3. Um, so looking at my statistics, we are holding a lot steadier than we have for quite a while now. So I'm very, very nervous, but it's, it's looking promising. So... Part six. This will be the final part of the intermediate series. Moving forward from here, I'm going to be going live once a month. Um, it's been decided that I'm doing the first week of every month from now on, and I will be doing mini series that aren't spread out. And what I mean by that is if I'm doing a mini series that has three parts, you'll see me on a probably a Monday, a Tuesday, and a Thursday. Um, if it has five parts, you'll see me every night that week, but we're going to try and condense the mini-series into one week. Um, so the first one of them will be happening in June. The admins and the mods are still discussing what we're going to do first out of all of the ideas that I have, but they will be themed mini-series. Okay, so this is the final part. We are doing beaches and sunsets tonight. Now, uh, the beaches, I'm going to show you how I do my hand-painted ones for people that don't want glitter. Um, I'm also going to show you how I do my glittered ones. Uh, if anybody caught my pen tutorial where I did the four different designs, I do my glasses and my tumblers exactly the same way as I do my beach pens. So you've already seen that part. And then for the sunsets, because I have seen... Uh, both a few tutorials in other groups and on YouTube lately of where they mix the sunset colors into resin and then put it on the glass into lines and do it that way. I've decided to go a different route and we're going to do a pastel sunset tonight. So we are using Danny's glitters for that. But we're going to start with the hand painting just so I can get all of the paint and everything out of the way. Hello Liv, hello Angela, Wendy's here, Nicole's here, hello everybody. I'm glad that you can hear me now because that always helps, doesn't it? So starting with the beach, the beaches I am doing on stemless glasses tonight and the pastel sunset I am doing on a 17 ounce soda can. I'm just going to get this so that I don't break the glass. Um, anybody that was watching me when I first started going live for Aussie Tumblr Makers knows what I'm like with glasses and breaking them. But let's go through the colours first. For my beaches, all of these paints I get from Spotlight. But um, if you don't want to use the Spotlight ones, I know that Bunnings paints are cheaper. Um, basically, if you want to match the colours to something similar. Okay. So for the sand, I use Deco Art in School Bus. And then Cool Blue. Island Blue. That'll focus. Uh, this is a satin one that is called Blue Lagoon. And then back to just the acrylic paints, this one's navy blue. Okay, so I use four different blues and then the sand. Alright, how is everyone's week going? Spoot loot. I've got so many paints from Spotlight because um, I bought... I knew that there was a riot in town because at the time riot was still open. Um, but I knew there was a riot in town, but that would require me trying to find parking on the main street. And I, I have enough anxiety issues without adding trying to find parking to the mix. Um, so I just went to Spotlight and got a lot of my acrylic paints from Spotlight. And then I discovered that Bunnings... Um, just going to move you up a little bit. Um, that Bunnings sells paint. So now I've got some of them as well. So I'm just going to do the butt first. And when you do hand paint the beaches... Um, usually, I mean, if you like the really pale look, then go for it. But I usually do two coats. So you'll see me paint the first coat of this tonight. And then in the rest of the video, when it's like finalized, where we do the waves and everything, that's all going to be pre-recorded. And then I'll link it all together and post it on YouTube like I always do. And then I'll post the link um, in the group. But I will end up doing two coats of paint. And then I spray seal, but I will go through all of that once we're finished painting. At the moment, we are painting our beach on. 
and the beauty of hand painting is it doesn't have to be perfect I've never seen a beach with a straight line shoreline have you so I'm just going in with my little paintbrush and creating my own shoreline I'm gonna turn my phone off because it keeps distracting me hi Dorothy um, yes I know how your week is Liv but I'll give you a call after the live and we'll we'll talk hello Janine yeah Belinda I'm cold too um, I don't think I've mentioned it today I, I don't think I mentioned it in my live earlier so I'll just remind you all that I hate winter and you'll hear me bitch and moan until September now. So have fun with that. I do. I hate the cold. Um, and I do have a little space heater in here. But you won't be able to hear me over it. Especially if I have it under the desk. Because I like to warm my little footsies. Oh bless you Janine. She needs it. I don't want to talk ill of my town. Oh, Crystal's here. Crystal will back me up on this. I don't want to talk ill of where I live because it really is a beautiful place to live. But it's very clicky. Um, like, it, it's not about what you know. It's about who you know. Um, and, and people, I mean, my, my old man went through it and he ended up going into early retirement because he was so badly bullied when they moved up here. Um, but yeah, people can be really, really awful human beings around here sometimes. The majority are all right, but people don't like new people moving in on their shit. And unfortunately, unless you've like lived here your entire life and you're 101 years old, you're not considered a local and they're very very good at making you feel like an outsider unless you dig your heels in um, and show them that you ain't going nowhere it is freezing crystal um, my phone's telling me that it's already five degrees which is cold for me I know Belinda and Anna are sitting there having a giggle because they're probably like in the minuses by this time of night but for me it's cold so one thing that I don't miss about living in Toowoomba is the winters. I've never lived anywhere that's as cold as Toowoomba. Okay, so I'm going in now with the cool blue, which is the lighter blue. I'm just trying really hard not to mix it with the yellow too much because I don't want it to go green. Um, but I only want a tiny, tiny little bit because this is where like our waves are going to start when we get up to the waves so instead of using white on a white cup I like to use a real baby blue because once you go putting the white ink over the top of it it mutes it out a little bit anyway it's not quite so blue minus one minus two See, on one hand, I'd love to see snow, and on the other hand, I'm like, nope, I'm good, thank you. <laughs> Am I in Tassie? <laughs> no. Um, I'm in Port Macquarie. Just up from, well, just down from Coffs Harbour. If anybody knows where that is. And Crystal is the next town out from me. It's warm at zero. And this is a woman that's trying to convince me to go and visit her in a couple of months. I think I'll wait till spring, but thanks for the invitation anyway. Because hell no. <laughs> okay, next one is the Island Blue. And this is where we really start to bring up the colours. No, this is a bit of a process guys that's why I'm doing this first and then we can play with glitter and I'm using some of Danny's new pastels I have not used them yet 
I ordered them specifically to do this live um, when we first started planning the intermediate series I ordered them because she I mean she hadn't even advertised them yet we just seen the little sneaky peeks so I'm very excited to be using them tonight and then I'll probably go back later and buy the rest of the collection because I'm the kind of person that has to have everything in her collections um, like the galaxy collection does anybody have anything from Danny's galaxy collection like it's um, um, I want to say a custom mix I'm not sure if it's a custom mix it is a mix of um, fine and the one millimeter and the two and a half millimeter and it has like a opal um, effect to it they're very pretty uh, Anna's in mudgy not orange crystal um, but I learnt the other day that orange is famous for its mandarins and I thought they were taking the piss so I googled it and sure enough orange is well known for its mandarins so somebody lost their job when they named the town does anybody know what they're famous for where they're living I say that not knowing at all what um port is well known for besides its beaches I suppose and the fact that everybody from Sydney is currently moving here Belinda invest in an Udi and like those real fluffy slipper socks that's what you need Okay, can you see, hang on, I'm going to turn that down. Can you see what I mean about it needing a second coat? If that's the look you're going for, bearing in mind that we're going to put ink over it, like white ink waves. Um, but yeah, I would recommend doing a second coat. And when I go to film the waves, you'll see the difference between now and what it looks like with two coats. just liberate your mum's hoodie like you do with the boyfriend's hoodie <laughs> it's yours now <laughs> um, superb parrots and sheep I'm currently working on my mum at the moment to let me have chickens right a it would be nice to have chickens because I had chickens when I lived in Queensland and I never had to buy eggs and it was great but I figure if I annoy her enough about the chickens that when I go back to asking for a dog she'll say yes because it's not chickens see strategy okay now I'm gonna go and do do I want to do the dark blue first how quick is that no that's drying pretty quick okay so I'm gonna go in with the blue lagoon And with these three blues that we're doing, not so much the light blue, but you want to kind of start blending. It's not going to be a great blend. Um, a, because I'm not the world's best painter and B, because I don't put that much time and effort into making it look perfect because again and you'll see when I do um, this in the rest of it once you put that ink on to start creating waves a lot of the undercolor mutes itself a little bit and all of these harsh lines fade into nothing anyway see it's not the world's best paint job But it doesn't have to be and this is why I like doing the hand painted ones because 
I mean, my, my Year 7 art teacher told me that I'm best to stick to English. This is a stemless glass. The two beaches that we're doing tonight, Janine, we're doing on stemless glasses. And then the sunset that I'm doing, I'm doing on a 17 ounce soda can. Just because I needed a little bit more room with that to try and fit all the colours. Because there's five of them. But this is just a stemless glass and you'll see once I put the dark blue on, I'm going to take, can you see the tape around the top? That comes off. Okay, so the last one is the navy blue. And I just add that a little bit to the top. Just to finish it off. And it doesn't look navy now, but again, two coats. Does anybody have any questions? Just while I finish this up. It's all acrylic paint. Um, once I do my two coats, and again, I, I go through this in the video, but if you, I'm, I'm a little bit behind with my videos. I've still got my Mother's Day one to put up, you know, because it's been two weeks since Mother's Day. Um, my Mother's Day one, I've got to finish editing and putting up. Uh, the glitter swirls one I have to finish editing and putting up um, and then I'll have this to film as well um, and I've also got two I've got an unboxing that I've got to do and I've got a demonstration that I've got to do as well so if you would like to do this beach while you're waiting for me to finish mine and upload it once you've got your two coats of paint on and um, I make sure that the first layer is completely dry before I go doing the second. Uh, you want to spray seal it and then you want to um, put a nice thick coat of epoxy over it. Uh, save a little bit of your epoxy that you mix. Add some of the Pinata Blanco into that and give it a good stir. And then if you go, I'll drop the link at the end, but if you go back into my pen tutorial skip all the way through to where I'm doing the beach you'll see how I do my lines of the white um, I use like a little um, silicon brush but you can use a toothpick as well and you basically put um, your toothpick or whatever you're using in the epoxy that's got the white and you start from over here and you go across right so you don't want to start your drips here because you'll end up getting big blobs. So you let it blob over on your baking paper and you do a straight line across and you go from this light blue all the way up until you've got enough lines, right? A little bit goes a long way. Don't cover the whole thing in white because when you go to hit it with heat, it'll start looking more like a milk bath than waves. So just do a few lines here and there, hit it with heat, get them moving, and then just let it cure. And then from there, um, if you're going to put vinyl on it, put vinyl on it and then another coat. If you're not going to put vinyl on it, put another coat over the top of where you've done your last coat because that ink needs to be sealed in as well. Okay. Does that cover? Does anybody have any questions now? <laughs> have you tried out your airbrush on a cup yet? Crystal, um, I'm doing blades. Uh, blades I've done using my new airbrush. Um... And I've got as far as spray painting a couple of pens because I want to try it on some pens. But your cup is the only one, the only cup that I've done that on so far. Because I've got to do it outside so I don't spray ink everywhere. Never done a paint one, I normally use the glitter to my beach cups. Um, I was as well until I got a request, oh, it would have been about 18 months ago now. She wanted a set, and I did it on 12 ounce wine tumblers, I didn't do them on glasses, but she wanted a set, um, but she didn't want any glitter, so that's when I came up with, it's, I mean it's exactly the same process except for using paint and not glitter. Um, but yeah, and I've had quite a few requests for them, um, and they were part of, I tried to launch a beach collection and be like fancy and have a, have a collection, right? Um, but about two weeks after I launched my collection, uh, COVID hit. So that was fun. Okay, so moving on to the glitter beaches. I just have to... I've already poured part A. 
I just have to add part B and I'm resting it on my flakes because I'm blind as a bat at night time in this room so for exact measurements we're gonna set it up here This will only take me a second, guys. I just didn't want to pre-mix it because I'm only mixing uh, five mils. Because that five mils should be plenty to do the next two that we're doing. I love beach anything. Um, look, I'm actually... That's what we're doing, but it's already got the waves on it. Except my beaches, I usually use... Um, a combination of um, glitters that I got from the lady that I used to go live for over in Texas. So tonight I'm using the same color scheme, but I'm not using the same glitters because I've picked out ones that you can get in Australia because that helps being Aussie tumbler makers <laughs> having my supplies in Australia. I'm going to get a drop sheet as well. Actually, before we go with glitter, has anybody got alcohol markers, alcohol ink markers? <clears throat> and if you don't, have you ever looked into them? I'll tell you why in just a second. I have been wanting alcohol markers. Now, I don't mean the chameleon ones because I'm going to need to marry a really rich guy to be able to afford the chameleon ones. Um, but just like the double tipped alcohol markers, one tip is a fine point and the other tip looks like a, like a little highlighter. I've been wanting them for ages. Um, but the good ones, to get the whole set, you're looking at like two to three hundred dollars. Um, I'm going to actually is Anna around Anna are you still here can you drop the link I'm gonna show you my bargain for the week I told Anna this afternoon so she's already got hers I'm just gonna do it the Ziploc bag so they don't go everywhere will they fit Ta-da! all 83 colors now, I came across these by pure chance. They are from, thank you, they are from Craft Online. Now, Craft Online has them listed at $330 for the set, but they're on special for $60 and you get free shipping. So if alcohol markers are something that you've been interested in, I definitely recommend you get on that before they sell out because I don't think they're going to get them in again. But this is a $330 set, but they've got them discounted to $59.99, uh, so 60 bucks, and then you get free shipping as well. But, they have the, chi what do they call it, a chisel, like the highlighter end. Please go back on. And then the other end is a fine tip. And it is alcohol ink as a texture. I'll hold it Look, this way up so you can see. See, art marker alcohol ink. So, any little fine details or anything, um, like if you want to try the pinstripe cups, or if you want to try, what else can we do with alcohol ink? The stained glass cups, right? Get on it. I thought it was a great bargain. So yes, I am enabling you. Yes, you can use it on a tumbler, Rebecca. You'd use it exactly the same way as you use alcohol inks. Um, you just obviously, at being a pen, you can make draw designs and do whatever you want. If you're an artist, go for gold. Um, decorate your whole tumbler. Um, but then you just have to spray seal it before you epoxy it. But that's my little bargain for tonight. I thought I'd share with all of you. Um, but yeah, if anybody was looking for them. Um, and then I told my mum, because she's just getting into card making, that if she's a very good girl that I'll share my set with her. Don't put them in resin. Don't, no, 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 don't put them in resin. Um, uh, is anybody a member of Holly's 
like glue to your world VIP group. Um, if you are, head over to the group. Uh, somebody, I'm not sure if it was Holly or somebody else, posted pictures the other day where they did a key ring and a pen and it was rainbow leopard print. I'm pretty sure she used alcohol markers on them as well. Um, it's, it's purely for like you'd use it the same way as pen but on a tumbler. So um, the first project that I'm planning to do for mine is finding a water slide that's just an outline, printing that and putting the black outline on and then filling it in with my markers like stained glass and that like over a white packet base. So that's my first project. But if you've seen the cups where uh, like they've got the alcohol lines all the way up the cup and they usually use pastel colors but it's like a swirly pattern but it's like perfect lines that's what they use they have the cup on the turner and while the cups turning they just hold the pen and the cup goes around in a line under the alcohol markers you can use them for that as well okay I'll stop rambling let's do this beach so glitter beach again I'm doing a stemless glass I've spray painted it white um, for these ones I think I used the Duramax the Dulux Duramax in the flat white that doesn't feel like super cheap paint and the four colors that we are going to use this evening are this is sand from spotlight uh, this is Iridescent Flash from Linda B, which is Shaylin's glitter. She does the glitter for the baubles. Uh, and this is a white that has... I'll see if I can get it to... No, that just makes it worse. It's got like little silver flecks through it. So it's a high flash silver. Uh, the teal, I am using Aqua from Spotlight. And then Sapphire is from Linda B again. So as long as you've got, you don't want a yellow gold, you want like a champagne gold. Champagne gold, a white, a teal, and a navy blue. Um, and the hang method. And we know by now that the hang method is a very tiny, tiny amount of epoxy. Um, it's called the hang method because you don't have to put it on a turner after it's on. You can literally, literally hang it on your um, drying stand and let it cure. Obviously being, what are we now, 9 o'clock at night? It'll cure overnight and it'll be ready for tomorrow. But you only want the tiniest, teeniest little amount. We just want something for the glitter to stick to, basically. And the butt. And move our resin out of the way. And since we're using resin, now is a good time for my little safety disclaimer that you have heard a hundred times. Um, Resin does release toxic fumes. They are invisible, you can't smell them, but they are there. So when you are working with resin, please make sure that you always use correct PPE, which is wearing gloves, wearing an eye mask, uh, an eye mask, eye goggles. Um, if you don't wear glasses, I wear glasses, so admittedly I don't wear eye goggles. Uh, and a half face respirator mask that has the interchangeable filters. I also, when I remember to, wear my apron and make sure you're working in a well ventilated area. Now that we've got that boring stuff out of the well, it's not boring stuff, it's need to know. Um, and it kind of covers my butt if I say it in every live. But we're going to start with the sand, which is going to be our sand, in case you didn't catch that. Do the butt first. And then we're going to create the world's laziest ombre. Because again, just like with the paint, once you put the ink over it, you can kind of hide your lines a little bit. But I'm going to bring mine up to just where it starts to curve. Now, if you're doing this on a skinny, um, I'd split your cup... 
Um, the majority you want is the teal and the, the navy blue, right? So you want, um, if you split your cup into thirds, you want a cup dark, uh, a third dark blue, a third teal, and that last third you want to split between having your sand and then a tiny, tiny little line of whitewash. Don't touch the button. Touch the button. No, I can't because I'm not wearing gloves. It's going around again to fill in any gaps I might have missed. And I may need second coats. So to do your second coat, once this is completely cured, um, I'll go back in with Mod Podge and a paintbrush um, and do a second coat. When I do my second coats, starting with the bottom where it's gold, I'll do the gold first. I'll let it dry completely. I'll give it a good dry brushing and then I'll move on and I'll do that with every color. Um, except for the white. The white I do very, very last. So I make sure all other three, the other three colors are completely dry and have been dry brushed and then I'll go in and do the white wait for that to dry dry brush it and then spray seal still with me I don't need them but Laura said I should get them <laughs> you are welcome to forward all family and partner complaints to my email address my email address is haha we buy what we like at gmail.com not to be confused with, no, no, I bought it anyway at gmail.com. Okay, so this is the flash. And I'll see if I can get it to come up on camera once it's on. Can you see how it's got tiny little bits of silver through it down there? So it's a white, but it's a white with extra sparkle. So that is obviously where our whitewash begins. I'm getting more and more confident as the live goes on because um, we haven't had any problems yet, touch wood. I knock on my wall because my wall's the only wood in here. It's an MDF, big MDF board that we cut to size. It's why I live alone. Remember, no one can complain until I can't fit anything else in. <laughs> and then you de-stash all of the stuff that you bought at the very beginning when you had big dreams and you wanted to make all the things and then you de-stash all the things that in reality you probably won't ever do like I um I'm currently doing that at the moment and I found library bags like calico library bags that I bought in 2018 because I had big dreams about selling library bags so they're all getting de-stashed because 2021 me knows that although 2018 me was very ambitious if they're still sitting around I ain't making library bags that, that, that's not going to be part of what I do. Uh, this is the Aqua from Spotlight. And it is more of a greeny. Uh, it is more of a blue green than a green blue. Does that make sense? So where teal is more green, Aqua is more blue. You want to go the more blue without it being actually blue. Am I making sense? But you see what I mean? If I can get that to stop shadowing. We've got some gaps, so we're going to need a second coat. I have, I've just noticed... Not sure if it'll come up on camera. Can I get it to come up on camera? No. I've got this big bit of chunky something. Yeah, look. 
please focus. No. It's like a one millimeter from somewhere else. It's not that gold, it's another gold. And I don't know where it came from. But Linda, that's the same mentality that um, a lot of guys have. Have you seen the jokes that go around that say, yeah, yeah, like I'll, I'll do what you asked me to do. You don't have to nag me and you don't have to ask me every six months. That's what that reminds me of. <laughs> <laughs> Yvonne, um, my mum started a cross stitch um, when she was pregnant with me and she only finished that a couple of years ago. So don't feel too bad. It happens to the best of us. I bought myself a big Sailor Moon cross stitch two years ago um, and I haven't even started it yet. It's there, I've got all the things for it. I picked, I've picked it up twice and then... I've been distracted and then it goes back in its box. Okay, so this is the sapphire from Linda B and this is what finishes up the beach and you can definitely see it on this one. See how we've you can still see the white from underneath. What oh, we got a big chunky bit there. Right, we don't want to see the white. So that's why that second coat's required. Um, if you're using like this is super fine glitters that we're using tonight if you're if you were to go up a step uh, not quite one millimeter but you know how you can buy fines like this right that's still considered fine but it's a slightly more thicker fine right that's what I use on this one if you can see it's it's not quite one millimeter it's still considered fine it's just a little bit of a larger cut. There we go. I only ever need to use one coat. So it really depends on your glitter that you're using. I'd love to learn how to do quilting. I follow a lot of quilt makers and a lot of crocheters on TikTok. Um, but my, I mean, my mum's tried to teach me how to knit several times in my life, but she's right-handed and I'm left-handed. Um, and she's tried teaching me left-handed and she can't, and I've tried learning right-handed and I can't, so we're just, we gave up after a while. But I am going to peel this off now because I don't want it curing. But now you can see that it's a glass. Okay, there's the foundations of our beach. So again, you'll see the rest of it in this video. But if you'd like to try it while you're waiting on me. If you need to do a second coat, do a second coat. Um, after you've done that or if you don't need to. Once it's cured um, or if you're doing a second coat. Once the Mod Podge, Mod Podge is completely dry and you've given it a good dry brush. Spray seal it so that your glitter doesn't move everywhere. Um, and then put it on the turner and you're going to do exactly the same thing as what we did with the hand painted one where you do um, you put epoxy all over it you leave a little bit you add the white you do your lines you hit it with the heat you make your waves okay again that's in the pen tutorial yep. that's on YouTube I can drop the link at the end but it's exactly the same process but instead of it being on a cup it's on a glass and then we're going to finish off with a pastel sunset and again once the glitters are down you're going to be doing them with a hang method it's the same way as the other two when you go to apply your whitewash or your waves okay same process but I figured if I show you how to do it you can go and do it oh no that's rude um if i can do it everybody can no i wouldn't be so sure about that if i were you rebecca um i'm not the most coordinated person in the world um, 
anything music related like playing instruments and stuff I don't seem to have any issue um, but knitting and crocheting uh, I mean I can French knit where you get the toilet roll with the paddle pop sticks and you do that yeah I can do that but that, that's about the stretch of my limits that and cross stitch I can cross stitch okay so this is a 17 ounce soda can because I needed the height um, but I've only got a couple of 20 ounce skinnies left two of them I need for orders and the other two I am saving for when we do our craft along so we're doing it on a soda can instead same deal with the hang method so that we don't have to put it on the turner listening to the sound of my gloves on the um, the metal um, has anybody stumbled into the ASMR section of TikTok um, I don't know how I ended up there but I was there the other night and there is some weird shit in that category <laughs> and that's what that just reminded me of then Somebody holding it right up to the microphone. And making that squelching sound through the microphone. Ah, Von Jackavor, Tradesmaster of None. That's my style too. That's the best way to be, I reckon. A little bit of everything. Okay, so we've done a stemless glass and a 17 ounce soda can. And I still have all of that left. If that's any indication of just how little you need okay so the glitters that we are using tonight I'm going to be using sand again for our base and then we go these are Danny's so the silver mist is it Vidaya or Vidia this one look I wrote the names on them so that if I mispronounced them you'd still be able to search but it's her pastel pink uh, her orange is fawn it's like a coral orange and then the yellow is iridessa starting with our sand again Look. it's pretty much exactly the same concept as what we just did with the glitter beach Okay, but different colours because we want it to look like a beach sunset and not just the water. So I'm going to bring the sand up just a little bit. Does anybody have any questions so far? It's pretty straightforward, isn't it? I love it too, Belinda. I will end up buying the whole collection. I I'm pretty sure that invoice that we were talking about before, it's on that on there somewhere um, for my next order with her. And then I'll have them all. Yvonne, are you sure you want to ban yourself from her page because she's got some stuff coming um, has anyone tried real sand in epoxy that didn't end up like mud slaps Angela I would apply the sand the same way that we're doing with the glitter with the hang method and then I would spray seal it before you go adding epoxy try that but this is our water I'll bring the water up a little bit it's 
pretty. Can you say that? It is very pastel. But it'll go this colour with another coat. Okay, it is very iridescent, but it is very pretty. So that's our water, and I've come up, if you can't see, to about there. So then we want a little bit of pink, a little bit of orange, and a little bit of yellow to finish us off. And then when you go to do the waves on this one, um, I have seen people do them where they go all the way up. Um, me personally, I only do the white lines and the waves um, over this part of the sand. So not underneath, but this where you can see this part of the sand, the blue, and just half of the pink. And then the rest of it I leave without waves because to me putting waves through the sky is a little bit weird. But it's personal choice. If that's the look you're going for, go for it. And I must have white spots because I'm getting a lot of glitter that's sticking. No worries, Angela. Okay, so the pink, which is the break of our sky. Oh, what's it called? Horizon break of the sky my god you all knew what I meant though right live looking for everybody by the way has anybody noticed any problems because I've not seen any alerts come up but that doesn't mean you know maybe I'm freezing but I'm not freezing enough for it to register Janine, are you a mum? Have you ever had a project like that? Where you, you're very, very ambitious when the baby's a baby and then they grow up and you still haven't finished the project? <laughs> Okay, I don't want as much yellow because the yellow is like right at the very, very tippy dippy hop as the sky. I wanted more these three colours. Can you see how we're starting to get a sunset going? Is it starting to make a little bit more sense? I showed my mum when these glitters arrived a couple weeks ago. I showed my mum. And I was like, I'm going to make a sunset out of these. And she looked at me like I'd grown three heads. So I'm quite looking forward to the moment where I can take the finished product out and say, see, it looks like a sunset now. I know what I'm doing. The rest of the world doesn't know how to do it. You're a nanny, my God. My, <laughs> my full respect goes out to you. Uh, anybody that is a primary school teacher or a nanny or a daycare worker or anything like that, my three kids who I love to the ends of all universes and back, they're enough for me most days. I could not imagine looking after somebody else's kid. I'm happy to babysit my friend's kids every now and then, but not on a daily basis, man. I wouldn't be able to have kids of my own if I did that. <laughs> I'd come home and be like, I've been with people like you all day. Just leave me alone. <laughs> some people are built for it and some people aren't. And I'm definitely not, not, not built for early child work. Oh, as in a grandmother. Ah, well, that's more fun than being a nanny. <laughs> what 
Although, um, I've just finished a water bottle that says uh, it's for a nanny, and it's Nanny Plum. And I thought that was funny. I got a good giggle out of that. Okay, so there is our sunset. Um, let's see if I turn... There we go. Shine a bit of light on the situation. We've got our sand, we've got our water, and then we've got our skyline. So again, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to do another coat of the colours. I'm going to spray seal it. I'm going to put epoxy all over it. But instead of doing the waves up the top of the cup, this time the waves go from where this dips in here. So from here up to about halfway up the pink. So the other half of the pink and the orange and the yellow are left untouched. But that is a pastel sunset. And if you have a really close look at my work you don't have to be very good at ombres to do it Anna I'm looking at you <laughs> because it ends up all mixing in anyway um, and then the ink down the bottom does cover it a little bit as well so you, you don't have to be the world's best ombre to do glitter beaches and glitter sunsets okay but that is I'll turn that back off now our sunset isn't that pretty? I love doing pastel sunsets and I'm very excited that I don't have to buy my pastels from America anymore because that's going to save me about $50,000 in postage charges. Man, I wish I had 50 grand to drop on postage because that means that I've got quite a considerable bank account, doesn't it? Oh. And that's that. So if you want it, oh, and I didn't bring it in, bugger. Um, I'm going to find you a picture. If you wanted to do a sunset like this, um, I'm, uh, the the mo well, the best one that I've ever done was on a thermos for my dad. So I was going to bring the thermos in so that I could show all of you, um, but I forgot to bring it in. So hang on. It was about a year ago that I did it. Bear with me, just for visual reference. Um, I could Google it, but then I'm using somebody else's picture and then I'll have to give them credit on YouTube and hunt them down and that just seems like a lot of work at the moment. So if you can just stay with me, we're almost there. Here we go, here it is. Can you see that? Right, if you wanted to do a sunset that was that style, can I bring that up? Not much. Okay. Like that. What I did there was mixed um, alcohol inks. I didn't use mine because I used alcohol inks. I mixed, uh, I had five little pots of, like mixed up my epoxy, split my epoxy into five different little pots. I then added a yellow, an orange, a red, a dark blue, and a dark purple alcohol ink to all of, oh, there you go. Dorothy, 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 why aren't you watching my live? <laughs> um, but I mixed all the alcohol inks into their five separate things, and then I, I put a thin layer over, it's on a white base, I put a thin layer over the um, thermos, and then from there, out of the little cups, I used my finger and smudged it on into the sections that I wanted and then I just hit it with a little bit of heat to make it meld. So if you wanted to do a traditional sunset like that, I used alcohol inks that were mixed into resin and then I smudged them on individually from there. Um, if you do it that way so you're not changing your glove five times, I would recommend using your finger um, and then wiping it off with a baby wipe before you go the next colour. And then you don't have to change the glove five times. And yes, it did take me a couple of goes to realise that I could do that instead of having to change my glove. But that's what we've got. That's it. We're done. We finished the intermediate. Okay, so we are on the final stretch and this is the fun part where we go and add our waves. Now, this, um, as I mentioned in the live, it was going to need another coat. It's now had its two coats of glitter. I used Mod Podge... Um, to apply the second coat. Once that was completely dry, I gave it a really good dry brushing. Spray sealed it uh, with, I'm using Rust-Oleum 2 times clear in the gloss at the moment, but I do prefer the satin. Uh, let that dry, let that sit, and now we're going to add our waves. 
Now I have mixed up 20 ml of uh, Diamond Coat. Now Diamond Coat is a one-to-one -one food safe um, resin. So that's 10 ml of part A and 10 ml of part B. We're going to apply the resin, but I've mixed up 20 ml. I probably won't need all of it. Um, but you do want to have enough where you get full coverage, um, thick enough for a final coat on the glass with a little bit left over. What you will also need for this step is pinata in the Blanco. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and apply the resin. And because we want the ink to sit in the resin and not on top of the resin because it moves a little bit better, you do want this coat to be not super, super thick so that it's dripping off the cup. Um, but thick enough so that when we go to hit it with the heat to start making our waves, you're not going to get dry spots. Um, so think the same as what you would be applying if you were doing an ink swirl. You want the same amount pretty much on this. Because even though we're only using white to make waves, technically we're doing an ink swirl. It's the same procedure. So I'm just going to make sure... I'll wait for that bit to come back around. But we want full coverage. And my turner is having a bit of a tantrum today. You'll see as it spins, it's jumpy in a couple of spots. Um, <clears throat> if you are new to using resin, I know this is the intermediate series, but if you are new to turners and you, um, turners, tumblers, and you are watching this, um, I'll see if it'll jump for me. If you have a turner that does not turn smoothly, there, see that little jump here and there and that little stall, like it stops and then starts again, you're going to end up with a lot of problems as there, there it is, especially in your final coat, okay? Uh, luckily for me, this turner is the only turner that I have on this desk. This is the one that I use to do all of my designing and my filming and everything for. And then there's a big table behind me with all of my turners that I put my, my projects on when I'm waiting for them to finish curing. So for me, when, it throw, when I have days where it throws tantrums like this where it won't turn smoothly, it's not a really big problem for me because I'll just move it when I'm finished filming to one of the turners that isn't having a tantrum. Um, but this was the first motor that I made for myself and I have suspicions that it's on its way out. See how it jumps? So please don't judge me on that and please don't let your turners do the same thing um, unless you've got a backup. For what I'm doing, um, the amount of time that I spend with this cup on this turner, I'm not really concerned by it. But I thought I would just mention that when it jumps and stalls like that, you are going to end up with problems if you let it fully cure. You're going to end up with little bumps and waves and whatever else um, because obviously the resin is going to react um, to that movement. Okay, so moving on now that we've got the resin on. Now that I've got it fully coated, I've still got well, that much left. I'm just going to go and add a tiny little drizzle to it. just to give us a little bit more coverage a little bit thicker until I'm down to probably go a little bit more okay so I've got maybe five mil whoops five mil left in my little cup okay so I'm gonna let that spin and even out <coughs> And we're going to add, now with the 5 mil, uh, please keep in mind that adding alcohol to your resin, uh, adding too much can stop it from curing completely. Okay, so in my little container here, I'll try and do this where I'm in frame. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so I'm going to try and keep this all on the same frame. I'm going to mix this into my resin. Just so we have a little bit more control over the application. Now for this next bit, you can use the side of your stirring stick. Um, I often use this little gem from LBB Resin. It is a tiny, tiny little silicon brush. Or you can use a toothpick. 
Um, I swap between using, this is also a reusable stir stick from LBB Resin. Um, but when I'm first applying my waves, I will use the little silicon brush. And then when I go in to add the last bits once it's moving, I will use the side of my stick. So you will see me using both of, well, both of these. But we're going to start with this one, okay? So what we want to do with our resin, actually I'm going to put a glove on because I've got resin all down the side of that container. There we go. Okay, so I want to get... We'll see, see, you just want to get a little bit on your toothpick or your brush or whatever you're using. And we want to follow, remember how I said it doesn't matter about how good your skills are with an ombre, right? We want to add waves to the lines that we've created first, okay? Because that will help hide. If you haven't done a perfect ombre just like this whoops so I'm just dipping it in the resin and drawing my lines on like this because once it gets moving it's gonna blend through enough so that your um, sections don't stand out so badly anymore Add a little bit more down here Okay, so once that's on, I'm going to go back through and just do random lines here and there. And it always makes me giggle because I have a dirty mind and they look like something else. <laughs> Little swimmers all over your glass. I'm going to add a couple to the sand. Not many. Just so it looks like it's coming up onto the sand. There we go. And now with my heat gun, I'm going to hit it with the heat so that it starts to move and spread out and you will see that happening on camera. You don't want to hit it with too much heat. You just want to get it to where they start to move by themselves, which is pretty much where we're at now. So I'm going to stop. Okay. So now we've got our base down. This is where I like to go through with the edge of a stirring stick. Um, and I'm just going to swipe. All right. So your toothpick or your silicon brush will work just as well i just like having the really straight lines rather than um when you're as you would have seen because we made jokes about it when you're using the little silicon brush um, it has more of a head to it instead of it just being a straight line so i just go through randomly keeping in mind that you've now warmed up your resin so what you're putting on now is going to react the same way um, as what we did when we first started heating up but it's not going to move as much as what we hit with heat and this is where well I call them break lines but we're essentially adding the break lines to um, like the wave breaks see so they do move and spread out a little bit and blend a little bit but not as much as the wispiness. And I will continue to go through 
and add bits here and there until I start getting the look that I like. Put more one here. Go over the whitewash a bit more because it's whitewash. And it's starting to look like the beach. Now do you understand why I said your ombre skills don't have to be the best in the world? Because we cover most of it up anyway. Um, there is one spot that's coming around. See, um, here, right? This bit that's coming around in the dark blue here. Right, that was a straight line. It's starting to blend through and react to the fact that the resin was heated up. This spot here is where I want it. And there's another one coming around. And then I think we're just about done. There we go. You want enough so that it looks like water, but you don't want so much that it starts looking like a milk bath. Okay, so I reckon I'm pretty much done with that now. Um, because the resin is still warm, it's going to continue to move and spread and change um, but that's pretty much what it's going to stay looking like now um, except it's going to blend just a little bit more so that is how you do your waves now once this is fully cured if you want to put a name or a design or anything like that on it you do that and then you do a final coat if you want it to be just this with no vinyl no water slide no nothing on it um, it's still going to need a final coat just to seal in the ink that we've just done okay so either way I'm just going to turn my light off that's what it looks like when it's not under the light turn that back on I know that that rings really annoying guys I'm sorry but that is how you add the waves to your beach but either way this is still going to need a final cup uh, a final cup oh my word a final coat on it um, and then as always, because this is a glass, um, I'm going to leave this spinning for about 20 minutes and then I'm going to peel the top off. Okay. When I go to do my final coat, I'm going to move the tape up a fraction of an inch so that there's a uh, glass showing and I'm going to resin over the whole thing again Whoops, with that little bit of glass as well. And that is what provides a really good seal. All right. Um, I'm not going to go through any of that because all of you should know how to do final coats by now. Move that that way just a little bit. But that is how I do my beaches. Um, and I will sh I've already finished the other two. So I'm going to move this out of the way, rearrange my camera, and I'll be back to show you the last two. And then we're done. Alrighty guys, so these are the other two that are ready for their design and their final coat now. This is the hand painted one um, with its waves on. Um, and for some reason, I've never had this happen before, but I've got some, I'll hold it up, some really cool swirly effects happening. This looks like somebody's watching you. Um, this here is a really big wave break. Um, I don't usually have big clumps like that happen and I was saying to Anna I'm not sure what I did but I wish I knew what I'd done because it's kind of cool I don't mind it this part's a little bit ugly but I can cover that up nobody's gonna know once vinyl goes over it but that is the waves on our hand painted one and that's ready for its design and its final coat and on our sunset as well our pastel sunset I might move you back and up just a little bit so we can keep it in frame sort of maybe it's a big one <laughs> that is our pastel sunset okay so I glid it all the way down to the base I was only going to um, do the waves up to about halfway up the pink um, but then I got a little bit carried away so for the first time ever, I've made the waves go all the way up into the sky. <laughs> but I actually don't mind the look. But that is our pastel one finish. Um, and as I was saying, oh, and this had um, two coats of glitter on it as well. Did it the same way as the one that we just put the waves on. Uh, I used Mod Podge to put the second coats on. Once they were fully dry, I gave it a really good dry brushing and a spray seal. 
and then I went ahead and did the waves. So this is now ready to have its design put on it and its final coat as well. I might just turn that off and hold it up. Well, this way, Laura. Right, so you can see the waves go all the way up to, if I can stop that from glaring, all the way up to the top. But we've got our sand, our water, and our three colored sunset in the pastels. So that's that one finished off. They're both finished off now. Ta -da! Are they pretty? And then you just saw the glittered one. But I do have, hang on. This one was for an order, but I do have it on hand. Okay. This is what the beaches look like once they're finished. Okay, so obviously I did my waves, I put my water slides on, I let them dry completely, um, and then that's now got its final coat on. I'm just waiting for it to cure fully until I can post it. But that is what the glittered beaches look like. So putting that to the side like that so you can see. One, two, oh, can we fit them all in? There's a little dip where the table joins, so I can't, but that's, ta-da, our beaches and our sunsets. Let me know what you think in the comments, guys. This wraps up the, fir, uh, the final part for our intermediate series, so we are done with that now. I will be back in early June to do a mini series for you. Um, otherwise, I have a couple of uh, product demos and stuff lined up. Uh, they'll be popping up in the next couple of weeks leading up to, <clears throat> when I say the first week of June, it won't be next week, it'll be the week after. Uh, so between now and I suppose it's essentially the second week of June, um, I'll have a couple of product demos and unboxings and stuff for you. Otherwise, that is our beaches and sunsets, guys. Thank you so much for joining me through the whole of this series. Uh, you may notice if you've got a keen eye, part five is missing. Part five was where we had a lot of technical issues. When I was editing um, the content for part five, which is where we did our glitter swirls and our glitter flows, um, it, it was just an absolute disaster. So I am yet to refilm that as well. Um, I'll be doing that over the next week. So if you're looking for part five, that's not up yet, but all the rest of them are up. Make sure you check them out and I will see you next time. Thanks guys.